Hello everyone, the Disney Prize here. Welcome back to another Camp America video. Um, I hope you've been enjoying uh, my Camp America video so far. I know this is only my third, but the best is yet to come with the actual video starting in just over a month. It is crazy to think that um, I will be heading off to Boston in about a, a month and two weeks, three weeks, something crazy like that. Um, so I'm just going to go through today how far I've got in my application, where I'm at, and and yeah, I'll talk through uh, where I am. Um, and then if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I'll try and answer them. This is my first time going to uh, camp. So I won't be really able to answer any questions about going to camp itself, but anything to do with the application, the visa, stuff like that, I will be more than happy uh, to answer for you. So I'm going to start with flights. I have booked all of my flights going out to America. I haven't booked any flights coming back because I don't know what I want to do after camp in terms of travelling. So I am flying out from Gatwick with Norse. Um, they are, I believe, a new airline uh, that started a year ago, a few years ago, um, and they fly direct to JFK, and it is mega, mega cheap for a one-way ticket, uh, much more cheaper than buying one way with like the big airlines like Virgin or, or BA. Um, so in, for pricing and, and stuff like that, I recommend uh, Norse. Uh, but I am yet to experience what they are like. I've heard good reviews about them, so I'm sure it will be absolutely fine. Um, I have booked my own flights, um, uh, so I didn't choose the option for Camp America to book my flights for me. Um, so as you can, as I said in earlier in the video, I'm, uh, my camp is in Boston. Um, so I am landing into New York uh, the day before I start camp. Uh, and then stopping the night uh, just in an Airbnb just outside of JFK. Absolutely lovely Airbnb. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, and it was mega, and it was not mega cheap, but it was for New York, it was cheap. Um, and yeah, I totally recommend um, an Airbnb. Airbnbs are great. Because um, you get a whole place to yourself most of the time. Also, if you're booking hotels in America, the vast majority, a good 75% of the hotels in America will require you to be at least 21 years old. Just be careful that when you're booking a hotel that you won't get pulled up for this when you go and check in and then you'll be homeless. Um, because that's the last thing you'll want. Um, so yeah, always check the age uh, for American hotels. This is why I like Airbnb because the host will decide whether they're happy to have you or not and chances are if you're over 18 they're more than happy to have you in their home. So yes I'm stopping there overnight and then early the next morning about 10am I fly from New York JFK to Boston um, with Delta. Uh, I've flown Delta before across the Atlantic and uh, yeah, they were a very good airline. Loved loved the flight with them. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. Um, so that's all booked. And then uh, I've told my camp my itinerary. I've emailed them with my flight numbers, my flight times, my airlines. Said this is my plan. I'm stopping in New York overnight. Replied, yeah, that's fine. Thanks for letting us know. We've uh, written down your details. And then my camp is going to pick me up along with everyone else who is arriving straight from London that day. So it'll be nice the fact that I've done that because I've already cleared customs. I don't have to go through customs or, or anything like that. Um, I would have done all of that in New York. Um, and that's what I love about um, American domestic flights. Um, you don't have to go through uh, massive international customs like you do when you arrive first thing from the UK. So that's one of the benefits of me doing that. And then I am in Lynx camps doing movie making. Um, it's called Lynx Tube. So it's like uh, teaching the kids how to make films. Um, and then putting stuff together and then showing their parents what they've learned at camp and honestly looking at, uh, at the stuff they've done in previous years and the schedule of the day it looks absolutely amazing and I can't wait to start 
teaching at, it's in like the performing arts sector, and uh, we've got a group chat of um, all of the staff, well, a lot of the staff, international staff. So I really can't wait to uh, start working with other people. Uh, and the places where we're sleeping, because mine's a day camp, um, I therefore don't um, have to keep an eye on the kids overnight, um, which is one of the benefits of the day camp. Um, you can get full night's sleep guaranteed. <laughs> Not what, and some people, that's what they go to Camp America for, is for the thrill of an actual traditional American camp. But mine is like a day camp, the kids come in the morning and then they leave and go home in the evening. Um, so it's a long day, um, but we get all weekend off, we've got 4th of July off, it's absolutely amazing, I really can't wait. So yes, and then after camp's finished on the 19th of August, I don't have any plans yet in terms of actually being booked. Possibly Disneyland in California, possibly Disney World in Florida. We will have to wait and see what time and other plans uh, dictate and work. Um, yes, we'll just have to wait and see, play it by ear. So yes, down below I'll link all of my videos that I've already done on Camp America and as I said earlier, it's a bit dry at the minute, there's not really many videos on Camp America, but as soon as I head out there I'll be starting to edit more videos, getting more stuff out there, advice, tips, stuff like that. So make sure you stay tuned, don't forget to like, Subscribe, ring the notification bell so you never miss any Camp America updates. I don't really think there's much more to say than that, really. Um, but as I said, it's just being prepared. I'll do like a packing video closer to the time when I start thinking about packing. Um, but I've got some general stuff together of uh, what I want to take. And Christmas is a great opportunity for that sort of thing. You just write a massive Christmas list of everything that you need for camp and and, uh, and then have that as your present so you don't need to buy it closer to the time. Um, but definitely, as we get closer to the time, in, in a month or so, I'll start um, doing packing videos and other videos like that. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed with the notifications on so you always know when I've uploaded a new video like this. I'm going to end it there because I can't think of anything else um, that's new in terms of Camp America. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you later. Goodbye.